Hi, I'm Alan Sagano. I'm the president of ADS Consulting Group. And thanks a lot for joining me on this presentation uh, for Application Virtualization Services. So what is application virtualization? Well, basically, applications are run in a virtualized application space. Uh, they're delivered from typically an application server to the workstations, which can just usually be even a file server. All the applications are executed locally on the workstation. Unless you're in a VDI environment, then they would be executed in a, in a virtual machine. Uh, but the applications are not installed on the workstation. This is huge right here. Um, so how does it work? Well, basically what happens is you uh, have a Windows app, and then you have an application virtualization workstation. And um, the applications are run through a virtualization process called sequencing that identifies touch points between the application and the OS, what it hits in the registry, and other things. And then uh, in portions of the program, that um, it also identifies what portions of the program are loaded first so that the, uh, those, uh, when you go through the process of sequencing, the applications actually will load faster. Then it's uh, put to uh, stored in an application server. This server will typically track licensing groups and users that have uh, access to that application and then finally run on the workstations. So essentially what it does is if you were familiar with the old DOS days it literally for all practical reasons creates kind of like a big honking uh, exe file that's just run on the workstation so you don't really have to install it you just run the exe um, and it's still run locally on the workstation and then uh, the application can be cached on the workstation for future use. Uh, the biggest thing though is that it, they don't have to be installed on the workstation so it diff significantly reduces the time to set up new workstations, uh, simplifies the workstation config, uh, all also allows you to roll out workstations very quickly in a DR scenario um, and uh, it does allow for true roaming profiles because the applications don't have to be installed locally. Um, it also can be a great solution for computer hoteling where a single workstation is used by multiple users. Uh, this uh, is a co could be a common computing environment for a company result, uh, recovering from a major level 3 or level 4 disaster. Also a pretty common environment for hospitals and universities where hoteling is, is more common. It also eliminates conflicts between each applications because um, they also each application runs this in its own basically its own sandbox for all practical reasons. Um, it can reduce the amount of regression testing uh, necessary for new apps. It can end the DLL hell of worrying about conflicts between DLLs that are shared between uh, different applications or different versions of the same DLL. Uh, also allows you to run simultaneously run different versions of the same app on a workstation. Uh, if you've ever tried to run like different versions of Access, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, yeah, it's, it's just not fun to do. Also, it significantly reduces time to distribute new applications or new versions. The big thing is this. So if there's a problem with a new version, all you do is you just unpublish the problematic version and republish the earlier version, you're good to go. Try that uh, when you're trying to roll out a new app to, you know, a couple of hundred or even thousand workstations with an application update. It's not that easy to do, but with application virtualization, you just swap the exe files, you're done. It's, it's so much easier. Um, that is a huge uh, value add to this technology. Also allows for efficient use of application licenses, so you can track uh, current license usage and then only purchase the amount of necessary licenses. You might be able to, depending on your environment, you actually might be able to get a net licensing savings which could pay for the application virtualization solution. So in other words, it could be a net positive. Um, also, you can, if you ever get audited for license use, they're essentially tracked on your application virtualization server so you can, you can very easily quickly say that you're in, in compliance. Also, uh, application service can be installed in branch offices so that um, you can also set it up so that those uh, applications are then automatically replicated out to branch offices using third-party tools, which is, uh, again, a nice feature for automatic updates. Um, some solutions also offer good support for remote users or disconnected clients. So uh, you can actually take this application virtualization solution and run it while you're not even connected to the network. Um, 
for disconnected clients, the applications are cached on the workstations. So you also have enhanced application security as another benefit. You can centrally control who has access to the applications, control what users can or cannot change in an app, uh, lock down applications so they're not altered or used in any unauthorized way. Uh, and also, this is a big one, um, it doesn't require local admin rights to run the apps. Uh, you can also have reduced total cost of ownership. Uh, one a leading analyst firm said it costs basically about $5,000 uh, to manage an average corporate desktop and about $7,800 to manage an average corporate laptop. And application virtualization can reduce this cost, the, the total ownership, cost of ownership by as much as 80%. Can also, uh, it also reduces the marginal cost of managing additional computers. So uh, this can, uh, this again, reduce cost of 80% compared to installing the application separately without application virtualization. Also can end, uh, end the workstation imaging hell. So you don't have to worry about, you know, RIS, Ghost, WS, WDS, whatever you're pushing out for workstations because you can, basically you, you, each workstation is now generic. You can also have reduced help desk calls. Um, some solutions allow the help desk to remotely connect to application virtual, uh, virtualization session to troubleshoot uh, any end user problems. Uh, you can reduce the downtime and recover quickly from a workstation failure. In the event of a workstation failure, a user can use another computer that's attached to the network because all essentially all workstations are application neutral because they're not physically installed in the application, uh, they have, they're not physically installed in the workstation, so the workstations now become generic, which is a huge benefit for a lot of companies. Um, and if the administrator allows some uh, solutions allow for end user to an end user to self-provision and self-heal applications that become corrupted. I mentioned the branch office support, so you can replicate changes to uh, branch offices. Also, uh, a really nice solution for DR if you're uh, if you need to recover apps very quickly. Um, yeah, under duress, obviously, it's going to be much easier if you have an application virtualization solution in place because you you don't have to physically install the workstations, uh, phys physically install the applications on every workstation, which is nice. You also have true roaming profiles. Um, the again, the applications since they're not installed, they can roam wherever the user roams, which is really nice. So is it right for you? Well, do you have more than 100 workstation? That seems to be the tipping point. Um, fewer than that, it's usually you can't cost justify, ju cost justify the cost of the infrastructure. Do you have more than 15 applications on your network? Do you have to run different versions like uh, Microsoft Access on, this, on your workstations? Uh, does your IT department have a high user to support staff ratio? That usually includes everybody today because that's just the way things are. You also have branch offices where IT support is limited. Are you concerned about minimizing your recovery time from a disaster? Uh, do you Actually, this is a big one. Do you roll out applications or patches, as you should be, of new versions of applications on a regular basis? And are you concerned about software licensing? Uh, do you have to support multiple remote users? Is your company growing at a very fast rate? Are you at, or are you uh, adding applications at a very fast rate? Are you facing any major upgrades for applications? And um, will the new application change the file format of any saved document? As you know, way back in 2007, Microsoft changed their default file format save, which was problematic. And ideally, you'd like to upgrade everybody at the same time. If you're installing the the applications on the workstation, that's not easy to do. But application virtualization, it's, a no it's, it's really, really easy to do. So for more information to find out if uh, application virtualization is a good fit for your company, you can contact me, Alan Sagano, at ADS Consulting Group at 310-541-8584. I'm at extension 100. And use the Find This Person uh, now feature which will forward on to my cell phone or you can email me at asugano at adscon.com. Thanks a lot for listening and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.